And so I was like, this kid is wise. Like, I love it. And I got to interview him and I got to get him on my channel. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, first of all, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 26 years old. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, he, that was one of the things that I was going to say, y'all, He, this young man is full of wisdom. And I always look at you as, and I wanted to explain it because I've been wanting to say it before, but you remind me of like a Doogie Hauser of computer science tech, like you're this whiz kid. And so I was like, this kid is wise. Like, I love it. And I got to interview him and I got to get him on my channel. I am William from Before the Billions. Before the Billions is my LLC, it's my business. So okay. I actually started it back um, last year. The okay. My actual LLC. But I had the name since 2013. Wow. Yes. And uh, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Born and raised. Oh, okay. And um, still live here. I just ended up um, buying my own house. Yes. Uh, get my first house. So uh, I am a data engineer now. Uh, okay. So it's similar to a software engineer, only I work on the database side. So Okay. Yeah, we're like the first um, response, really. Like whenever there's any issues, okay, we're looking at, okay, let's look at the data. Um, right. So that's that's pretty much what I work on, and um, I've been working in tech industry for um, a little bit over three years now. Okay. Um, four years, and you know, I went to Georgia State University. Nice. As a computer science major, so. Nice. So you're very analytical because my husband, we're our, my whole entire house, we're kind of techy in some kind of way. Um, even myself, I'm education, but I dive into tech and everything. And um, but we also have very analytical minds. So is that you? Is that you kind of? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I they actually train you pretty much to be analytical, wow. and be more logical when you're going wow. through these uh, these courses uh -huh. or your computer science major. Yeah. And um, also my dad is um, into tech as well. So uh, he used to be a uh, police officer, but uh, what he did was he used to work on the IT. But speaking <laughs> of your dad, speaking of your dad, I found you. I don't remember whose channel you were on, but you were telling the story. And this is going to lead up to you speaking about transformation, because I think a lot of who you are is the tech side, but so much of your life is transforming physically, your mindset, all of that, from what I hear when you're telling your stories. And so I hopped on, well, I learned a lot about you. I don't know whose channel you were on, but anyway, you were talking about the time in your life when your dad pretty much was like, you're a bum <laughs> and get yourself together. And I enjoyed that story so much. And I think that a lot of people in life would either gotten mad at their parents, rebelled, or just felt like it was the worst thing, but you chose it to level up. So tell my audience, because I, and the reason why I want to start here is because number one, that's how I really, really listened. Like I, that was like a story time and I was leaned in. It was very interesting. And also I know that a lot of my uh, subscribers are just kind of like in a place. They want to transform. They want to do something new. So it's easy for me to say, do it, do it, do it. But I wanted somebody to come on. You're in this in a similar age group or someone that's younger. And to just kind of explain that journey. And then please explain how your father was, because that was hilarious to me um, from a mother's standpoint, because my husband is the exact same way. And then I'm just like how I said in the chat, I was like, yep. And here come mom around the way going, don't be so mean. But I've since learned that dads are so needed for that. Absolutely. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Go yes, ahead. Ma'am. So uh, the story, <laughs> I, I told it on my, on my channel. Okay. It was your channel. Uh, yes. Uh, it's a video titled, uh, what your father should have taught you. Okay. Uh, this is actually there was actually a response to um, a Kevin Samuels a video he did many years ago. Well, I was like many years ago, it was like probably two years ago. Okay, when he made that video, and I listened to that and it helped me. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Let me tell the story about my dad and I. Okay, and um, in that story, I was saying how when I was I grew up with uh, my mom, uh, primarily I grew up with my single mom. And um, I was the only child on her side. Okay. So, um, and all my brothers, I only have brothers on my dad's side. So I have two step brothers and a little, um, and a little brother, half brother. Okay. Um, 
And I remember when I was going through high school and then, you know, everything was going okay. But um, my mom ended up getting sick. She oh, ended okay. up getting um, lupus mm. and uh, misconnective tissue disorder. And uh, okay. she ended up almost um, passing away in 2011. My God. Um, okay. So not only that was going on, but also my grandma uh, got a stroke and my granddad passed around that same time. Okay. So uh, this was right around the time I was like in 11th grade and I um, ended up like, you know, having to try and take care of things because we had no income. We were like poor. Mm. Um, and I remember when I graduated, um, I didn't have a, I didn't have a job. Right. Okay. I, had, I had a job at like Wendy's and that didn't last long. And then um, I was just kind of living off of the refund I would get from Georgia State University because exactly. I had scholarships. And um, my dad, one day, he just was like, uh, hey, man, you need, you need to start working. You know, you need to, you know, do some stuff. I was like, okay, you know. And I didn't really start. I didn't look that hard or anything like that. I was like, I don't even have a car. You know, I don't have anything that could get me from here to there. So what am I going to do? How am I going to get a job? Right. Um, and I had no skills, I had no degree. Mm. Fresh out of high, fresh out of high school, going into college, I'm like, I really don't even have time. I'm working twelve. I'm having twelve to sixteen credit hours for right. school, so that's like all day, every day, right? After school. And I remember it was we actually had to leave my grandma's house because mm. of um, a plumbing issue, and I had to move in with my dad. Mm. And then that's when everything kind of started, where. My dad was like, come on, man, you ain't going to be living in my house and you ain't working. You know, right. He called me a straight up bum. He said, are you a mama's boy? He was like, um, he's like, man, you know, you." He, he, what, what he said that really uh, resonated with me mm-hmm. was that, um, and it was true, right? It was mean, but it was but true. It's true. Okay. Because what he said was, is that you a grown, able-bodied man living with your sick mom and grandma and you ain't making you ain't putting no income in into it and you just living off of them wow and when he said that i was like oh my gosh you know what you're right so wow. um you know and when i thought about it i was like dang you know that that's what i really needed to hear right because what he said was true so i ended up getting a job i'm um, wow. as a security guard Okay. And, uh, you know, it was what I could do at that time. I had to work at night because I couldn't work during the day. And um, that was a terrible job, though. But I still went ahead and put that put that income towards helping out. Right. My and um, then I ended up overworking. Right. I had mm-hmm. three jobs. <laughs> it, right. I went from no jobs to three jobs uh, working in Lyft, Uber, uh, working in career services and working in a warehouse. Wow. So I had um, I had a lot of things going on just so that way I can kind of take care of my mom and my grandma at that time. Right. Um, my grandma, she ended up getting dementia. Mm. Um, so she couldn't work anymore. She had she actually um, retired from Emory. Um, OK. And she was a, a respiratory therapist at that mm. time. And my mom couldn't work either because she, uh, she couldn't really breathe. And she was on. She finally got disability. So. You know what? That's significant. And to me, it really shows how important strong men are, you know, because if you would have moved in with your dad and he was just like, oh, OK, we probably wouldn't have before the billions right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> or if it, you might have evolved eventually into that person. But it was that push from your dad. And so speaking of the push, speaking of that, how much of your mindset had to change? Two questions. How important is education? Because you have a lot of people going education, some education nowadays. They're just like and I'm like, no. Education opens up the world of opportunity to me. Um, Yes, there are a lot of opportunities these days. YouTube is one. But the truth of the matter is, to me, if you want to be seen as the expert, you've got to have some uh, education behind it. And then the other thing, you know, a lot of what you are and a lot of what you talk about is that transformation. So how was that transformation from going from that to this person who's now in college and getting a degree? 